All right, this is a demonstration of the ECCT capacitor test. We'll take our Model T coil and insert it into the ECCT and then turn power on by pressing and holding the select button for about five seconds. The LED light comes on to the capacitor test. To run the capacitor test, we have to depress the vibrator spring to open the points and then we'll be pressing the test button. So we'll be opening the vibrator spring and pressing the test button. And we see here the results displayed that the value is 0.47 microfarads, red on the lower scale, and that the test result is good, indicating that the leakage of the capacitor is relatively low. Now, a couple things that could go on with the capacitor test is if I accidentally touch both the vibrator spring and the upper brass point element, you'll see what happens that my fingers have leakage, which makes the capacitance look a little high, and the result is poor. So if there's any doubt about doing that, we take a small piece of plastic bag, drape it over the top, and now we can depress down the vibrator spring without risking or worrying about contacting both elements. Now, interestingly enough, in this case, the value is still 0.47 microfarads, but the result is still poor. So where is that leakage coming from? Well, it could be coming from the core of the coil and the vibrator spring touching it. So to test that, we'll put a thin piece of plastic between the vibrator spring and the core. We'll use our little piece of plastic over the top so we don't touch both elements. Press down, test button, and sure enough, this particular coil has leakage from the vibrator spring to the coil core, which is causing the leakage test to fail. When the capacitor is isolated from the coil core and from your fingers, you see that the value is 0.47 microfarads and that the resistance of the leakage is very low. So that's what it is to take test the Model T coil capacitor using the ECCT and some of the results that you may get.